This month's exclusive computer music software giveaway is a three-pack of superb effects plugins by Swedish developers Killerheart, worth £59. Comprising pitch shifter, reverser and trance gate, these tasty little audio processors not only sound great, but are also extremely easy to use, with just a handful of controls to get your head round for each one. In this tutorial we'll show you how to use all three on their own, and as snap-in modules within the brilliant SnapHeap host plugin. Like all Killerhearts plugins, Reverser's name leaves little to the imagination. It simply reverses sections of the input signal in real time, and mixes the output back in with the dry signal. The mix control sets the dry wet balance. The size of the reverse buffer and the delay before it starts playback are set by the delay time parameter. That's the big number at the top. This can be set in milliseconds from 10 milliseconds to 5 seconds. or anywhere from a 30 second note to 16 bars when synced. Really short times generate wild, glitchy, almost granular effects. The crossfade control is used to smooth over the transitions between slices, which can otherwise get quite clicky at short delay times, by fading in the start and end of each one. It's expressed as a percentage of the reversed buffer length. I can feel the pitch shifter uses granular processing to apply up to two octaves of pitch shift in either direction. Shift is dialed in by dragging up and down on the semitones and sense readouts. I can feel the rhythm. 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 While the mix control again balances the dry and wet signals, making it easy to create two part harmonies. I can feel the rhythm. 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 Pitch Shifter's Correlate Mode is an advanced algorithm that works particularly well on vocals and other harmonically straightforward parts, yielding a more transparent sound than you get without it. Turning it off, however, gives access to the jitter control, which randomizes the pitch for cool unison style effects. The grain size control adjusts the length of the slices generated by the granular engine, radically affecting the quality of the sound. In correlate mode you'll probably want to keep this as low as possible. With correlate off, grain size is very source dependent, so experimentation is key.
trance gate is a rhythmically sequenced gate capable of storing eight patterns at once for switching between using the buttons at the top. Set the number of steps in the looping sequence from 2 to 64, and the resolution of the steps from an 8th to a 64th note. The current position in the loop is indicated by the rotating outer marker. Activating a step sets the gate to open. Clicking and dragging from one step to another ties them together, extending the duration of the open gate. The gated signal is audible on active steps and silenced for inactive steps. An envelope is on board for shaping the movement of the gate. Tweak the attack, decay, sustain and release knobs to smoothen and sculpt the opening and closing action and interim level. For less overt gating, the mix control reintroduces the dry signal in parallel, blended in to taste. As well as their standalone plug-in functionality, all kilohertz effects can be employed as snap-ins, that is, modules that load into the free snap heap or not free multipass modular host plugins. Let's see how snap-ins work by transforming a couple of drum loops using snap heap. When you installed reverser, pitch shifter and trance gate, you were also given the option to install snap heap and its six bundled snap-ins. Three band EQ, chorus, delay, limiter, gain, and stereo. We start by loading the Snap Heap plugin into a track in our door, playing back a drum loop. Snap Heap centers on four lanes, into each of which you can load as many snap-ins as you like for serial or parallel processing, or a combination of the two. To load a snap-in, click in the lane and choose from the menu. within and between lanes by dragging and dropping. By default, Snap Heap is set up for serial processing, i.e. the input signal simply passes through the effects in each lane from top to bottom and left to right. This MAD setup then has the input passing through the first pitch shifter, then the EQ, then the reverser, and so on, ending at the limiter in the fourth lane. volume, pan position and mix blend of each lane is adjustable, and of course changing any of these directly impacts the input into the next lane. Lanes are muted and soloed using the M and S buttons at the top,
and both individual snap-ins and full lanes can be deactivated by clicking their blue power buttons. Clicking the routing button between two lanes switches them from serial to parallel configuration so that each contained series of snap-ins processes the input signal simultaneously with their outputs mixed at the end rather than one lane feeding into the next. The possible combinations of serial and parallel lanes are 4 serial, 1 parallel and 2 serial, 1 3 lane parallel and 1 serial, 2 parallel, and 1 4 lane parallel. The mix knobs set the processing depth of each parallel lane and adjustments made to a lane's volume and pan have no bearing on its partnered lanes. By loading the 3-band EQ snap-in into two, three or four parallel lanes and filtering each one down to a unique frequency range, we can turn SnapHeap into a makeshift multiband processor. SnapHeap also has a full-on modulation system built in, comprising two LFOs, two envelope followers, a pitch detector, a MIDI controller section, and eight macro knobs. Any and all of these are assignable to every parameter of every snap-in in the heap. To make an assignment, click the link icon that appears when the mouse is moved over the display for a modulator, then drag on the orange modulation knob for your target parameter to set the modulation depth. Finally, clicking the down arrow on a snap-in, or indeed plug-in, reveals, amongst other things, a randomize function. Great for instant inspiration. If you like what you hear from Pitch Shifter, Reverser, Trance Gate and Snap Heap, you'll definitely want to check out the rest of the extensive and joyously affordable Snap-ins range, not to mention the powerful multi-pass host plugin. Find out more at www.killerhearts.com. <laughs>